Black holes have always been a topic that incites curiosity. They are these mysterious entities lurking in the darkest corners of our universe, invisible to the naked eye. A black hole is a region in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape its clutches, not even light. Imagine a whirlpool, an unstoppable force that pulls everything towards its center. Now this whirlpool in the vast expanse of space, relentlessly pulling in planets, stars and even light itself. That is what a black hole is like. Black holes are not just cosmic phenomena, they are a testament to the limitless wonders of the universe. Let's understand more about these fascinating cosmic beasts. How are black holes born, you may wonder? The birth of a black hole is a cosmic event of epic proportions. And it all starts with the death of a massive star. Let's take a step back and consider a star, much like our own sun, but significantly larger. The life of such a star is a constant struggle between two immense forces. On one hand, there's the inward pull of gravity, always trying to compress the star into a smaller, denser form. On the other hand, there's the outward push of nuclear fusion, the process that powers the star, constantly resisting gravity's relentless pull. Now, imagine a balloon. When inflated, the air inside pushes out against the elastic, keeping the balloon inflated, much like the nuclear fusion in a star. But what happens when the air inside the balloon is let out? The balloon deflates. The elastic material collapses inward, with nothing left to resist its natural tendency to contract. Similarly, when a star has exhausted its nuclear fuel, it can no longer resist the inward pull of gravity. The star's core collapses under its own weight, causing the outer layers to explode outward in a supernova, an explosion so bright it can outshine entire galaxies. But what happens to the core? If the star is massive enough, the core continues to collapse, becoming denser and denser. It becomes so dense, in fact, that it warps and bends the very fabric of space and time around it, creating a black hole. This newborn black hole is a place of extreme gravity, where not even light can escape. It's a cosmic vacuum cleaner, pulling in everything that comes too close, from dust and gas to entire stars. Yet, despite their destructive power, black holes also play a crucial role in the formation of galaxies and the evolution of the universe. Every star you see is a potential black hole in the making. And as strange as it may seem, it's the death of a star that gives birth to a black hole. Now that we know how a black hole comes to life, what's inside one? Let's talk about the two main components of a black hole, the event horizon and the singularity. First, let's talk about the event horizon. This is the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. Once something crosses the event horizon of a black hole, it's destined to be swallowed up. Now what happens once something crosses the event horizon and enters the black hole? Well, it's headed for the singularity. The singularity is the heart of a black hole. It's where the laws of physics as we know them break down. The gravitational pull is so strong that it warps and distorts space and time. In fact, the singularity is so extreme that it's hidden by the event horizon. This is what's known as the cosmic censorship hypothesis. It suggests that the universe censors singularities, hiding them from view by cloaking them within black holes. So, what's inside a black hole, a boundary from which there's no return, and a heart where the laws of physics break down and the universe as we know it ceases to exist? It's a place of ultimate mystery and fascination, a testament to the extremes that our universe can reach. So. The event horizon is the point of no return, and the singularity, the ultimate destruction. Black holes are not just about destruction, they're full of mysteries too. One of the most intriguing aspects of a black hole is the concept of time dilation, a direct consequence of Einstein's theory of relativity. Picture a fast-moving train. To the passengers on board, time seems to flow normally. They can chat, read a book without noticing anything unusual. However, to an observer standing on the platform, the train appears to be moving in slow motion. This is the essence of time dilation. Time slows down near a black hole. 
It's as if the black hole is a cosmic speed breaker, slowing down time as you get closer to it. Now, let's move on to another captivating theory associated with black holes, wormholes. Wormholes are theoretical passages through space-time that could create shortcuts for long journeys across the universe. They are like tunnels through the mountain of space-time. If wormholes exist and we could navigate them, traveling from one end of the universe to the other might be as simple as walking through a door. Yet the existence of wormholes remains a theory. They are predicted by the theory of general relativity, but as of now, we have no empirical evidence. Similarly, the concept of time dilation, though tested and proven on Earth and near massive objects, hasn't been directly observed near a black hole. Black holes also challenge our understanding of the universe in other ways. For instance, they defy the laws of thermodynamics, according to which nothing can be completely black, but must emit some sort of radiation. Yet, black holes, by definition, absorb all radiation and reflect none. This paradox led physicist Stephen Hawking to propose the existence of Hawking radiation, a theoretical prediction that black holes do emit particles, although detecting this radiation remains a challenge for modern astrophysics. Moreover, the very core of a black hole, known as the singularity, is a point of infinite density. Our current understanding of physics breaks down at this level, presenting yet another mystery to unravel. What happens inside a singularity is beyond our current comprehension. It's like trying to peer beyond the edge of the known universe. Despite their ominous reputation, black holes play a crucial role in our universe. Imagine a powerful magnet attracting everything within its range. This is similar to how black holes, with their enormous gravitational pull, draw in surrounding matter and energy. You see, the immense gravitational field of a black hole can attract and hold together billions of stars, gas, and dust, crafting the majestic galaxies we observe in the night sky. Moreover, black holes influence the evolution of the universe. They control the rate at which stars form within their galaxies, and even the direction in which these galaxies move. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more space videos.